Well hello again everybody and welcome back and today we're on security pins so I've made up this little demonstration piece uh, hopefully we can show you how different security pins react in the lock and how things seem to work so for you, those of you who don't really know how they work this should show you and possibly even for experienced people uh, actually seeing how they work inside might actually help you when you're making pins see what difference it makes so effectively this is the inside of a lock we have a key pin a driver pin and a spring uh, just for today this bit here is our tension wrench and my finger is going to be our pick so as we know if you actually put a key in a lock it does that and then when you turn the key we're open simple as that so effectively the same thing when we pick it apart from we're actually putting tension on as we're lifting the pins and when we get to the point it'll turn effectively if you've got five or six pins in there that's what your binding order is and depending on the tolerances in the lock depends on which ones go first but now we've all had about serrated pins so this is a serrated pin and what happens with a serrated pin which you've probably seen plenty of people picking them is when we put tension on the lock we can see what's happening with the pin and as we you can probably hear it click and then we're getting caught up just here so we get a tiny bit of counter rotation keep on and that's why we get the notchiness when we have serrated pins so the other thing you've all heard about is spool pins so here we have a spool pin so effectively they don't come into play really until you've picked anything that is on the shear line for example in another chamber you'll have the standard pin when you get to there that's when you get a full set and that's showing you how you get the full set and what's actually happening and then when you try and pick the pin this is where when you hear everybody talking about counter rotation you can see it's a balance between how much tension I'm putting on and how much pressure I'm putting on the pick and then we get to that point and then that is a picked pin So the other type of pin we hear a lot of talk about is a T pin. So this is effectively where we go and we get a full set. So we think we've got a spool or the pin is actually picked because we have no spring tension on the key pin at all and even if we try and push up we don't get any counter rotation or anything so for those of you newer to the sport when you watch us picking challenge locks and we say there's just something hanging up somewhere a lot of the time it is a key pin and that's how we can identify what a T pin is and then we can get it up there so 
the T-pin effectively makes the pin feel picked compared with a spool pin because the spool pin will still as you can see will still push down on the key pin whereas the T-pin gives you that full set but it exerts no pressure at all on the key pin so that's what makes those tricky but then what we can also have to deal with is threaded cores so a threaded core doesn't make an awful lot of difference when you've got a standard pin as you can see just straight up but the times they do work is yet again with security pins so if we start off with a serrated pin we can see it's actually the serrations actually interact with the thread and actually make it harder to get the key pin up and get it picked but they also have an effect with uh, spool pins because if we try picking this we can see we actually get we can actually get the edges of the spool caught so that now is locked we're not getting any counter rotation so that is one of the situations where you hear us talking about manual counter rotation we'd actually have to turn the core back like so and then it will actually get picked so that's one of the situations if you've got undercutting grooves and spool pins as you can see it doesn't matter how hard I push on there nothing's happening whereas without that if I push it counter rotates itself so that's how threading interacts with these with T pins it yet again doesn't make an awful lot of difference because this still reacts in exactly the same way as it would have with a standard if I can get it to turn something's jammed there we go so that works in exactly the same way whether you've got a threaded core or not so I hope that explains to some people exactly what is happening when we are picking the lock and how the pins are actually interacting and what the different security measures actually do and I hope you find it all useful so anyway thanks for watching see you again soon bye